What up, what up, YouTube Alex? Coming back at you with another custom StarCraft II cast spawning on the top right hand side of the map. It's our blue Chiron player prototype. It almost sounds like I called him a prototype, but no, his name is Prototype. And going up against his opponent spawning on the bottom left hand side of the map, it's our purple. Dragons player Asylum. Now we're in for something really cool today. We're casting an all races mod game. The all races mod brings multiple races from the community together into one big brawl. So I am super excited to be casting this game. If you guys are new to my channel, I do cast a lot of custom StarCraft 2 games. So if modded StarCraft is something you're interested in watching, please consider shooting me a subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. Now back to the show. It looks like Prototype able to block the expansion for Asylum right here. This will slow him down. And these plotters, the workers for the dragons actually seem a little bit more squishy than the converters for the Chiron, which is really interesting to me. Finally, though, Asylum able to chase Prototype away and throw down his expansion right here. I do think, I, I really do think Prototype already did enough damage, though. This really slowed down Asylum a lot. And taking a look at Prototype's side of the map, he already has a Citadel almost finished. So he will be ahead in bases for a short while. Now, taking a look at what, uh, what Asylum is doing. Asylum has a Razorback on his opponent's side of the map. Now, if you guys are not familiar with the Dragon Race, the Razorback is effectively a grounded overlord. This thing is supply and it's mobile. The only difference is it does not fly, which is a little bit ironic for a race called the Dragons. One other thing I want to point out is it seems to have a reactive attack. So every time it gets dealt damage, it shoots spikes back at the army that's attacking it. Regardless though, it dies in a pile of gore. This poor thing stood no chance. What a gruesome death. It also looks like some things were beating there after it died. Oh man, that poor Razorback. It was just it was just scouting, you know? It was like, let me just see what's going on. And then it gets destroyed by these vaults. Prototype is out for blood this game. He's in it to win it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, one other thing I think is really cool about the Dragon Race that I want to point out. The, the units can evolve on the spot. Somebody pointed out in my last video that Zerg units technically evolve on the spot as well, but... The, the difference with the dragons is they do it almost instantly. It really reminds me of the primal zerg. But uh, what are we seeing here? It looks like some graphical anomaly. These uh, flame spitters are stuck in limbo. They are just unit models with no <laughs> with no animation. I wonder if we're going to see that for any other dragon units. They also have this horned magus, which is like a deer thing. I think it's pretty sick, honestly. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. It looks like Prototype is scared of something coming towards his cliff right here. I don't know if the dragons have any sort of cliff jumping units. We do have multiple Razorbacks running to the other side of the map. I wonder if these are rallied by mistake because uh, this would be wasted supply. I don't know how much they cost, but I assume they cost roughly 100 minerals. Now, let's see what else our dragon player might be building. He has what is a coagulator, which is the, uh, he has two of them. These are the gas mining structures for the dragons. What else do we have? We have lesser deep ones, which I think build tier one units. And yes, they do. And as we can see, this guy is just surfing across the, <laughs> the top of the map. He is skating. Oh man. I really hope we don't have uh, multiple graphical anomalies. That would kind of ruin my vibe, to be honest. Here we go, though. We have what is going to be a push of vaults. I think this is too many dragons uh, for the vaults to deal with. The vaults are pretty squishy, if I'm being honest. And they, uh, the flame spitters do uh, dot damage, so they do damage over time as well. Maybe able to snipe this Razorback, but no, the Razorback does survive. And all the vaults go down. That was a huge engagement for Asylum. Taking a look at the resources lost... 600 resources lost to 300 in favor of our purple dragons player uh and okay okay so we have what is also a third base coming down i was going to say no third base coming down for either player but i was wrong <laughs> we have a third base coming down for our dragon player but no third base coming down for our blue chiron player prototype taking a look at the units right here 46 workers to 44 in favor of Asylum. 30 army supply to 12. Big lead for Asylum as well. So despite, despite having that delayed natural base, 
really did not fall too far behind. In fact, I think our blue Chiron player is behind. Taking a look at what sort of tech this guy might have. He does have the Foundry, which I believe is the upgrade structure for for the Chiron race and we do see what is going to be plus one upgrades already done plus one attack upgrades what is being produced right now we have what I believe is plus two attack upgrades already so this is probably why prototype has less of an army supply than his opponent he is going for the earlier the earlier upgrades we also have the subjectors these are great anti-air units we have what is going to be uh, what are these nullifiers this is anti-ground static defense for the chiron and this is really really good static defense i think these are way better than photon cannons the only difference is they do not shoot up they only shoot down so that's where the balance comes in otherwise they would be totally in but i'm not lying to you guys <laughs> now taking a look at what our dragon player has he has a lot of flame spitters that are frozen in time and a few horned magises magises mat magi i you know i actually don't know let's just call them uh magi i think that sounds cooler <laughs> but i know they are spellcasters. i don't really know what they do i'm not super familiar with the dragons race yet this is only my second time casting a game featuring the dragons so i am super stoked to see how this game goes we also have the pulsars they are a pretty sick unit they have a really cool animation where they have like two laser beams that spiral into the opposing units it's really sick actually we do have the subjectors they they are tanky enough they do decent damage but oh man prototype on move command walking right into this dragon army and losing quite a lot actually oh no prototype trying to split his army but but oh man that was just not a good engagement taking a look at the resources lost man oh my god 2200 resources lost to 500 taking a look at the workers as well 61 workers to 44 in favor of our purple dragon player and now this is looking like it already might be the end of the game but i'm not so sure this is some good defense right here but the army supply is double for our dragon player but these uh these umbras are actually really really good dps on top of the fact that they have the nullifier support in the natural base the only issue right now is prototype is stuck on two bases <laughs> oh man okay wait a minute prototype is on two bases while asylum is about to be on four bases with uh tw literally 20 more 22 more workers than his opponent so right now it does look like asylum is in the lead but this is still technically anybody's game i mean we're only eight minutes into the game eight and a half minutes into the game what prototype could do is try and do some harassment in the main base or the natural base to to do some damage to the economy of his purple opponent but he really has to do something at this point in the game you do not want to be sitting back if you know and i don't actually think he knows let me take a look actually okay so the only thing he knows is that there's two bases he hasn't even scouted the third and the fourth base for our purple dragon player so what he has to do he has to get some scouting information he has to do some damage to the economy he has to do something but at the same time he might not realize just how far behind he is oh man so this is going to be a rough game for our chiron player he's just now throwing down a third base as well prototype oh no prototype also might get the cancel on this hopefully he gets the cancel on this he might not actually no he does get the cancel so that is something but now he's once again stuck on two bases and this is a pretty big dragon army right here and man i think it's so funny that they're skating around <laughs> I did notice this graphical anomaly watching some other dragon replays, but uh, I don't know if that's on my end or if that's uh, some sort of bug for the mod, for the, uh, for the dragons mod. Uh, so something I'll have to look up. We also have the myriads, which do have, I believe, some sort of anti-light unit, I think. I think they're almost like a grounded carrier, but their uh, their units only do extra damage to light units. Um, GG Sigmar, I've done some casts with you. If I am wrong or right, please let me know in the comments below because I can't remember. I think this is this is only like maybe the third time I'm seeing this unit. And here we go. We have another engagement in the middle of the map. This third base in jeopardy again, forcing the cancel. Prototype is good about being diligent in canceling this so he doesn't lose all 400 resources, but he had to cancel it twice. So he lost 200 minerals. Not only did he lose 200 minerals total on this base, but he is stuck on two bases while his opponent is on four bases, happily mining. Taking a look at the worker supply 
60 workers supplied to 39 in favor of asylum this engagement though looks like it's almost in favor for our blue chiron players so this is a big pickup for prototype if he's able to stay alive these myriads doing a ton of damage forcing the retreat on the rest of the dragon army and now taking a look at the resources lost it's slowly evening out kind of 9900 resources lost to 7000 still in favor of our purple dragon player i almost said blue dragon player <laughs> but after getting that big pickup on that dragon army may be able to finally get his third base down what i would do in this situation is double expand at the same time what are we looking at here we're seeing a lot of floating money for asylum granted he's got four bases but he's floating 2,000 minerals and 1,000 gas prototype is doing a great job at spending his money which is likely why he's still in this game even though he was stuck on the two bases uh asylum is ahead in resources and uh ahead in bases but the issue is he's not spending his money as efficiently as prototype is so that is why we're seeing prototype still in this game we still have this graphical anomaly which i think is going to be staying uh staying with us this entire game what is this greater deep one i'm really curious to see uh what that does we have some vaults going down as well i wonder if the greater deep ones are some sort of defensive unit because we see a lot of forward uh, buildings coming in for our purple dragon player we also have the volcanic harbingers which is a sick unit i don't quite know what they do uh last game i covered for the dragons i think we had about three of them as well and i just forgot to look at them <laughs> But man, what a crazy game so far. I don't think I ever thought I'd be casting custom StarCraft 2 games with two different mods in one. This is sick. Oh my god. We finally have this third base mining for our blue Chiron player. Taking a look at the worker supply, still a 20 worker deficit for prototype. It's 72 workers to 54 in favor of Asylum. Army supply, 92 army supply to 58. Also in favor of Asylum. So really... Uh, I want to say that our purple dragons player is ahead. We have what is going to be a fifth base coming down for Asylum. I'm kind of surprised based on how many uh, how many minerals he has that he isn't just expanding everywhere. I'd expect like, I don't know, eight bases at this point. <laughs> and we also have this Razorback just chilling. Actually may be able to spot prototype mining long distance mining from his fourth base location which may tell asylum that prototype is planning on expanding relatively soon and here we go we have what what are the uh the volcanic harbingers getting taken down by these subjectors we're actually having some really good engagements by the chiron players so you know i really don't know for a while i was thinking that maybe asylum is ahead but prototype is able to hold his own against this purple dragon player just now getting pushed back and now we have the third base in a little bit of jeopardy we have the volts coming in for the rescue though able to chase away the dragon player and save his third base no way dude no way i thought that thing was going down for sure man but I really do feel like Prototype is holding on to the skin of his teeth. He is hanging on for dear life. He has to do some serious damage. Has he even scouted uh, the other bases for his opponent? No, he has not. The only thing he's seen is this natural base. So he does not quite know just how far ahead our purple dragon player is in expansions. We finally have the fourth base coming down for our blue Chiron player. But it's quite late worker supply though is still 72 to 53 so neither player is really building workers right now i think they're just focused on fighting each other <laughs> army supply also 30 army supply ahead in favor of asylum now 20 army supply ahead 70 army supply to 53 in favor of our purple dragon player taking a look at the upgrades i've not looked at the upgrades for a while we have i want to say 2-1 i think for the chiron player and uh i think 1-1 one, one, or our dragon player so upgrades pretty pretty even kind of nothing too crazy we finally have what is the gold base spotted for the chiron player so he knows he knows that asylum is is really playing greedy right now i don't even want to say greedy we're at 15 minutes into the game uh he's just really far behind in uh in expansions man he he expanded too slowly and he did not do enough damage to his opponent in the earlier game so now we have what is uh 
what is a crazy dragon player expanding like a zerg player <laughs> but we have some angry pariahs right here trying to take out this razorback the razorback somehow able to stay alive though this thing is tanky as hell man and also something I wanted to look at, I feel like I don't remember the inducers looking like this. I feel like I remember them looking like turtles, not looking like floating units. I wonder if this is an older replay and I just didn't notice, but I really think this unit model is actually sick. It's like a floating, uh, it almost reminds me of like a floating disruptor or something. But I think these guys like play basketball, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, what, what I mean by that is they throw this ball at a unit and then it comes back to them. They dribble on their opponents. They steeze on them, man. <laughs> and here we go. We have what is going to be a really big engagement right here. I, I think Prototype might have put himself a bit out of position, though. He split his army into that choke point right here. And this is so much fire, man. Oh, my God. So much of the Chiron army gets destroyed. Prototype throwing out some <laughs> Russian character, which I assume is the GG, giving the victory to our Purple Dragons player Asylum. Very cool. All races. Custom StarCraft 2 cast. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, please consider shooting me a like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want me to cast any of your own games, I will leave my email and Discord in the description below. And I'll see you guys on the next one.